Hi everyone, uh, this is a video demo for my um, project for wireless communication. The name of my project is Simulation of OFDM as a Receiver and Transmitter. Yeah, my demo will consist of five parts. The first thing is introduction, then the description of the OFDM system and its components. Then I will show my experiment results and evaluation. Then I will introduce some related work. Finally, I will give you some conclusion summary for this project. And first, I will introduce. First, I will introduce introduce my project in digital communication in digital communication world. Bits is expressed form information and OFDM data in the spectrum generated space of the symbols like MPSK, QNA, QAM, through the inverse decrease decrease a forward transform to the time domain spectroscopy in conversion and named IDFT and inverse fast forward transform like IFFT as a more cost effective embodiment it is often used and as soon as OFDM data modulated into time signal all the carriers will be transmitting in parallel to occupy all the available frequency bandwidth and OFDM symbols in the modulation process they usually divide into plurality of frames in order to receive signal the data will be modulated modulated into frame by frame format and in same pace with the receiver. Yes. <clears throat> um, I will show you a picture about how this system works in the next slide. And if this is a ba basically a brief description of how this system works. Um, yeah, this is a, a, a cycle. The first is the IFFT, and the the the, guard, the next is a symbol N, and this is basically what they have transformed. This is like a channel, and then we go to the guard period, and we use IFFT to transform back the data to the uh, image or something like that we need, and this is basically how it works. An overview of the system. So this is um, the analog, an analog source data is obtained from the 8-bit grayscale. Um, we use a, a bitmap image file like BMT or like a G, J, K, JPK and based on the user choice. And uh, then the image data is converted to size of the symbols which is a, a normally matrix and decided by MPSK form for different four different options. And, uh, the emulator, the emitter outlet of the pre-modulation time frame signaling cascade together and is inserting to the frame with guards between the pair in identical headers in the data stream and this is basically in the channel like data we're transforming and we added some noise to the to the model because it is more um, real and practical the receiver then checks and finds both the start and end of each frame in the to be receive signal with envelope detector, which means the receiver will detect what, what he gets and decide if he can transfer these bits to all the pictures. And uh, the data after modulation, modulation then will be turned back into an 8 bit or size data simulation for producing output image file with error calculation procedure performed at the end. This is that we put and we take a picture as input and we do some proceeding uh, to some process and then we will output some image file but this is not the same but we we'll do some something between that. And this is basically some items I have to clarify. First is the input fire. We use 8-bit graph scare um, BM bit, bitmap to experiment to experiment this system. Then I have to size and numbers carriers carriers used to carry the data stream. And next the digital modulation is a very important thing of the whole process. We use some different Options like BPSK, QPSK, and PSK, PSK, and uh, then we we'll have a signal to noise ratio dB. Uh, this is basically input, and the program obtains obtains data from the input image file and gets matrix H and W. The H represents the height of the image, and W is the value width, width, and the the matrix the matrix is then converted into a serial data system. Data stream and uh, this is like what I say 
above and the word size always 8 bit word so the input image is fixed in 8 bit grace bitmap um, source data will be rearranged re to the sequence according to the size of the PSC model selected by users and uh, then this is the output in the system so in the outlet of the OFDM receiver data stream after demodulation needs to go through this base and that uh, after that we're turning turn back into 8 bit 8 bits per word uh, fire and in this case since the size of the single PSK might be less than 8 bits so the trimming base multiply, multipliers before conversion to uh, not sufficient bits in a symbol is converted so we have uh, some uh, put some zeros on that like I will, I will talk to you before uh, later and uh, I will then I'll go to two very important parts of this system is P DPSK modulation and uh, DPSK demodulation later and uh, DPSK can operate in differential coding before each carrier with an additional row reference data which you must add at the top of the matrix and the modulator creates a row in form random number define the size of symbols and the time interval of the patch and then I will show you um, a, a example this is a uh, basically 20 31 and 400 matrix and there is you no know, reference data and data stream and in compare in compare with the reference row this is basically them the the, the 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 this is basically the modulation part and the DPSK demodulation, but the DP, DPSK demodulation is just like the uh, DPSK modulation, but they're, they're in the inverse way. The phase in the matrix can be transformed to, to 0 to 316 range, and the value will be one of the symbol size, so it can be any one of them. The translated values will form another matrix, and the differential operating runs in the parallel values can be retrieved from the matrix. and the number of padded zeros is calculated by the number of data symbols, the data number in remaining operators I mentioned before. Uh, yeah, you know, it is very important to add some zero because notably, in, able to in, in order to enable each carrier having the same number of data symbols, because you can't not guarantee all the carriers carry the same carry the data that with with the same number of symbols. So a series of zeros may have already been filled to the origin date before transmission. Accordingly, the modulator may have a pattern zero to remove from the last part of the demodulated data stream before. And this is basically um, how demod demodulation works. Yeah, you can see that the, the with after the demodulation there is no reference row and uh, it will change to another matrix. And this is basically the origin that we use. This is a very beautiful palace. And of that, uh, I, I choose the BPSK and I set the SNR, the signal and noise ratio, to 0, uh, zero dB. It looks like picture like that left. And I would, if I set the parameter, the signal and noise ratio to 5 dB, the picture like that on the right. And then I would try a different option, like I use it to, uh, 16 pp. BPSK and we get the picture like this and uh, this is basically some related work I did and because uh, when switching between the original and the received image it is very ob obvious that most of the pixels of the gra gradation does not change but still relative to some kind of intact the trade-off between tolerance and desired balance data rate BER can be found through the type of data to be transmitted for the use of OFDM. And the conclusion summary, the OFDM system successfully sim simulated using MLAB in the project. All major components of the OFDM system are included. This has proved OFDM's basic concept and feasibility. Some of the changes in the development of the OFDM simulation program and uh, carefully matched modulation step and demodulation step and track data from the size of the entire process and uh, one possible future work to enhance the simulation program includes adding the ability to proceed input source data besides 8-bit word length because we use 8-bit word like the 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 the, the, the bit map i talked before and uh, after that i can use some other source data besides 8-bit and this is basically what we did and thank you guys